Hey everyone, welcome to my Blu-ray update. Um, thanks for watching. Um, so, to start things off, I got a package in from Grindhouse Video. And for those of you who don't know what Grindhouse Video is, it's an awesome uh, movie shop that sells horror movies. And they're located in Florida. Um, and the guy who owns the store, he does like a Facebook Live type of deal, I believe every Sundays now. Um, but, you know, he sells stuff online, basically like Diabolic DVD. But he has a physical store as well. So that's pretty cool. I wish I lived in Florida. But anyways, I saw him sell this documentary that I've been wanting to get ever since I saw that this was uh, available and I know it was like on Amazon but it said temporarily out of stock yada yada and I didn't see too many other places selling it but I saw him sell it and he sold it for a better price than what was on Amazon I believe on Amazon it was like $24.99 and then plus like 4 or $5 shipping uh, his altogether was like 24 bucks shipped, so I went ahead and got my from Grindhouse video, and that's pretty cool. He also bubble wrapped it inside the bubble mailer. Looking through the bubble wrap, you can probably tell what it is. And there we have it. To Hell and Back, the Kane Hodder story. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite Jason Voorhees uh, characters, or you know, actor who plays as Jason Voorhees. And hell, he's probably one of the uh, guys who got to play Jason the most. Um, but like I said, clearly one of my favorite. You know, I liked what he added to the character. You know, he almost puts you in mind of a shark. You know, his head turns and then his body moves. Um, and, you know, just a big motherfucker. I mean, I know he wore like a bodysuit and stuff like that. But I mean, hell, as you can tell, the dude's pretty damn big himself. And then you add that bodysuit and it just definitely gives him that more intimidating uh, look to him and this is supposed to be like his uh, sort of like his documentary you know how he grew up you know like he used to be bullied and stuff like that um, but some of this uh, tells you like some of the movies that he you know talks about or what have you and there's the spy. And you get Blu-ray DVD. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo. And there's a look of the man himself. Over 90 minutes of deleted scenes. And you get trailers. And let's see. It's 106 minutes. It's region free. It's in color, of course. Uh, you can probably get this from KaneHotterMovie.com. And it's also available on uh, the Android market and the iPhone, you know, what, whatever, iStore, whatever. Let's see. To Hell and Back is the harrowing story of a stuntman overcoming a dehumanizing childhood filled with torment and bullying in Sparks, Nevada. After surviving a near-death burn accident, he worked his way up through Hollywood, leading to his ultimate rise as Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th series, making countless moviegoers forever terrified of hockey masks and summer camp. Featuring interviews with cinema legends including Bruce Campbell, Robert England and Cassandra Peterson. To hell and back, the Kane Hodder story peels off the mask of Kane Hodder, cinema's most prolific killer in a gut-wrenching but inspiring documentary. Yeah, and I've also seen him like 
small scenes in like Best of the Best too, and like tons of movies. But Friday the Thirteenth is, you know, where he got his, you know, f uh, fame from. So that is To Hell and Back, the Keen Hotter story. I can't wait to check this out. And uh, some of these others are basically recaps. So, of course, I showed I uh, got Supergirl on Blu-ray. It's from the Warner I Archive collection. And there's your list of bonus features. And then, of course, I showed Return of the Living Dead Part 2. And then I picked up A Quiet Place. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it, so that's why I picked it up. And plus two, I never got to check it out in the theater. It stars Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. And there's a look at the spine. And then there's the back. And I'm glad it's got some bonus features to it. Then I picked up Ready Player One. I've heard some mixed things about it, but you know what? It, it's a Steven Spielberg movie. I haven't seen a Steven Spielberg movie in a long time, so I went ahead and picked this up. And plus, too, I like a lot of the 80s references that this movie makes. And from the trailer, it looked really cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. It's got the Iron Giant. King Kong. A lot of really cool references in this movie. And then I picked up The Magicians Season 3. I missed this when it was on uh, TV, so I went ahead and picked up the Blu ray. It's a damn good series. I mean, it's so good. You know, I've been sort of uh, savoring it because I haven't even finished the first season. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's bad, but, you know, it's just so good, and, you know, I really like the characters, I like the story, if you haven't seen The Magicians, I definitely recommend that. And I picked up Truth or Dare, this is the unrated director's cut. Uh, I don't know anything about it, although I did hear some not so great things about it. But, you know, the trailer looked interesting, and, you know, I just wanted to check it out for myself. You know, some things that other people don't like, I might like. So that's Truth or Dare. Rampage. Starring Dwayne Johnson. Also known as The Rock, of course. I'm just uh, a sucker for giant monster movies and action movies in general. And plus, too, I remember uh, the video game that came out a long time ago when I was a kid. And I loved the hell out of that game. And I didn't check this out in the theaters. But you get the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. Um, and it also stars, I forgot that guy's name, but he plays as, uh, uh, shit. He plays as, uh, damn, Negan on The Walking Dead. So I wanted to check this out, see if it was fun. So that is Rampage. And I picked up Super Troopers 2. And I know at Walmart they had sort of like a double pack uh, type of deal where it has Super Troopers 1 and 2 in Amory cases in a box. Uh, but I just went with this. I want to check this out. <laughs> I didn't check this out in the theater and 
I liked the first one. I thought it was okay. So that is Super Troopers 2. And then next one I'm sort of uh, excited for is the Isle of Dogs. You know, uh, when I saw the commercial for this, I really dug the artwork to this. Um, and I was waiting for it to come out in a the theater because I know at the theater I go to they had like a bunch of signs and stuff like that for this movie, but I never seen the uh, trailer to see that it was out. Uh, and it's done by the same person who did uh, Mr. Fox. Uh, let's see. I can't. Let's see. I can't remember uh, the name of the movie, but it's something, The Fantastic Mr. Fox or something like that. It's from visionary director Wes Anderson. Isle of Dogs tells the story of Atari Kabayashi, 12-year-old war to corrupt Mayor Kabayashi when all the canine pets of Megasaki City are exiled to Vast Trash Island. Atari sets off in search of his bodyguard dog spots. With the assistance of his newfound mongrel friends, he begins an epic journey that will decide the fate and future of the entire prefecture. And for special features, you get animators, Isle of Dogs cast interviews, puppets, an ode to dogs, Megasaki City and Trash Island, Weather and Elements Gallery. Yeah, like I said, the trailer looked really good, and I liked the look of the animation. And this also had uh, one of those double packs at Walmart where you get this and uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. But I wanted to get this on its own. So that is Isle of Dogs. And I like the slipcover. It looks really nice. Now, I'm glad I got these, but I also reordered them uh, from Diabolic because I got these from Deep Discount and wham, no uh, slipcover. And yeah, I know it's silly to uh, reorder something, you know, just because you didn't get slipcovers, but oh well, that's the collector in me. <laughs> so I got Dagon, and uh, just heads up on this, I heard that this was DNR'd. I don't know if they're going to correct this or not, um, but this is from the Collector Series of Vestron, and you do get some bonus features, and it's been years since I've seen this movie. Uh, last time I saw it, and it gives you an idea, is when it first came out on DVD to rent, <laughs> so that's how long it's been since I've seen the movie. And on the back it says, based on a short story by H.P. Lovecraft, the undisputed master of macabre. Dagon follows Paul and his girlfriend, Barbara, as they celebrate the success of their new company on a yacht off the coast of Spain. When a sudden storm smashes their boat on a reef, Barbara and Paul swim to the nearest town for help. The, cre the, de shit. the decrepit... Fish, fishing village of Mboka at first seems to be deserted, but unblinking eyes peer out from the boarded up houses. The strange inhabitants offer little help to the stranded couple. By nightfall, Barbara is missing and Paul finds himself pursued by the entire town. But a town of what? And for bonus features, you get audio commentary with director Stuart Gordon and screenwriter Dennis Paoli, audio commentary with director Stuart Gordon and star Ezra Godden, interviews, gods and monsters, a discussion with director Stuart Gordon, interview by filmmaker Mick Garris, shadows over in Boca, an interview with producer Brian Usna, fish stories, an interview with S.T. Joshi, author of I Am Providence, The Life and Times of H.P. Lovecraft, Vintage EPK featurette, archival interviews with Stuart Gorn, Ezra Godden, and other cast and crew, conceptual art gallery from artist Richard Raphorst, 
storyboard gallery, still gallery, theatrical trailer. And of course it's from Lionsgate. It is all region. 16 by 9 widescreen. It's 98 minutes and it's from 2002. Wow, I can't believe how long it's been. So that's Dagon. And it also has uh, reversible art, which I'll get to that. And then this is the collector series of Beyond Reanimator. Um, I like this movie, but I like the first two a lot better. You know, after the first two, they sort of went downhill, but I still enjoyed this enough to pick it up. Um, with the special features, you get audio commentary with director Brian Usna, isolated score selections, and audio interview with composer Xavier Capellas, Beyond and Back, an interview with director Brian Usna, Death Row Sideshow, side an interview with actor Jeffrey Combs, Six Shots by Midnight, an interview with S.T. Joshi, author of I Am Providence, The Life and Times of H.P. Lovecraft, Production Art Gallery by illustrator Richard Rapporst, Steel Gallery, Vintage, EPK featurette, Dr. Reanimator, Move Your Dead Bones, music video, and theatrical trailer. And this is also All Region. And it's 96 minutes, it's from 2003. So that's pretty cool, like a year after Dagon. And let's see. you don't get a uh, uh, damn I would have thought that you would have gotten a um, changeable thing but I forgot they don't do that well that sucks but these will just be my watching copies and maybe possibly give them away at a later time until my other ones come in. And then the last thing I picked up, and I'm so glad that this finally came out, I Am a Hero. And this is a zombie flick, a Japanese zombie flick. And to me, I saw the rating on this online, and I think it should be rated a hell of a lot higher than what it is. Because this is a damn good fucking movie. And pardon my French, but... It's a really good movie. If you like the movie Train to Busan, you'll like this movie. You know, I rate it, you know, as high as Train to Busan. You know, that's how good it is. And actually, a lot of people in this country who make zombie movies could actually learn a thing or two from this movie and uh, Train to Busan. I mean, you know, you get the emotion, you get the horror, you get the gore. I mean, it's just fantastic. The first time I saw this, you know, and I sort of cheated because, you know, I couldn't see it anywhere or anything, and I saw it on YouTube. You know, that was the only place that I knew of. Um, and then after I watched it and I loved it, I was trying to see if I could buy it or something like that. And I've seen some uh, special editions, but I didn't get it because... You know, I didn't want to take a chance of the uh, bonus features not being uh, English friendly or whatever. And plus, two, you know, 60 bucks for one movie. And like I said, it's eBay, so things are overly priced. But we finally got this released on Blu ray. Uh, and heads up, this is only subtitled. I don't think you get uh, a U.S. audio dub or anything. Which is fine by me because when I was watching it online, I didn't even pay any attention to any of that. I mean, it is so damn good. 
So on the back it says, based on the celebrated horror manga I Am Hero comes a live action film adaption that's bound to get your blood flowing. 35 year old assistant manga artist Hideo Suzuki leads an unsatisfying tedious life to cope with his day to day stresses. He fantasizes scenarios where he's overcome with confidence and bouts of courage, but that's just what they are, fantasies. And yet when a virus outbreak hits Japan, turning the infected into mindless cannibals, Hideo is forced back to reality. Equipped with his shotgun amiss, seemingly insurmountable odds, Now's his chance to rise to the occasion and become the hero he's always daydreamed he could be, even if it kills him. Extras, Japanese trailer, Japanese teaser, and trailers. So, yeah, you get English subtitles. It's in Japanese, and it's region A locked. And it's put out by Funimation. Runtime is extra runtime is two minutes. Feature runtime is 127 minutes. So just a little bit over two hours. And I'll leave <clears throat> uh, a link to the trailer in a description. But I highly recommend if you like zombie movies, good ones then this is definitely one to get. And this would make an awesome double billing with Train to Busan. Uh, but that is I Am a Hero. And like I said, it's an awesome fucking movie. You know, don't let those stupid people online, you know, sway you away. It's a good ass movie. I highly recommend it. So that is what I picked up. I want to thank all of you for watching. And I want to thank uh, some of my new subscribers for subscribing. Uh, Y'all have a great one. Until next time, I shall see y'all later.